and this stuff isn't sold by the pound. That one's heavy. Welcome back guys. Today we are going to install the track extension kit that we purchased with the Woodland Mills 126 model. Uh, it also fits the 130 I do believe the track extension kit does. We're going to add on to this about six and a half feet here and that should stretch it out to where we can make 16 foot material. So we'll see what's in the box and get this thing unpacked. This box is extremely heavy. I'm just going to carry over what is inside and empty it out that way. So that's two more bunks that we get. We do have hardware inside the bunks here. Get those guys out. We're going to need that stuff. set of rails. This stuff is heavy duty too guys. Do this without having a styrofoam blowing all over the place. We'll be in good shape. So along with the track extension, we also get another long log stop and shorter, short one, as well as our uh, log clamp and mounting bracket. Real nice. That's going to make this really functional for our sawmill. We can cut anything we want to now. And it looks like we also get an additional six adjustable feet for this thing. That one is perfect. Let's see what this bottom side looks like. That's got us in there, guys. Check this one. Square 
them up a little bit. Not bad. I'm going to keep these guys up here flush. give her join a little bit more to hold on to there. I don't think we're going to move it now, guys. We'll have to remove this bunk because we're going to install our plates on the bottom. Connect our two rails together. So we'll get one on each side underneath this guy. We do have to remove our saw stops as well. All right, I've got our bunk loose there. I'm going to go ahead and put my legs on. We're going to go through the bottom with our bolt. And we'll put our locking nut on and run it all the way down and we can actually tighten it up. So this is our original, we're just going to move this out to the end. Okay, and this, this is the short side. This should be our long side then. Yep. And in this box, we also get our T-handles 
for our log stops. Go ahead and put those in. So this is the difference. We wanted the bolt that has a little bit of shank left on it there versus the bolt that was all threads. That way we can get down through all three pieces of metal and have enough room to put the nut on the bottom side. I am going to set them right down through the top going through the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and tighten those up just a little bit before I get that bunk in the way. That way I've got plenty of room to work here. I'm not going to get overly tight because we still have to get the other four bolts through here. Everything's installed now. And from our back bunk there all the way up to the saw head at that front bunk, 16 feet 5 inches. Everything bolted together great, guys. Nice and level and square. So we're ready to make some beams or anything else we choose to. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having this kind of weather. It's fabulous out this afternoon. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. See what else we can get into.